Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? Pretty good here. It's another unboxing or un enveloping idio idio <laughs> video. Oh my goodness, video. I'm mixing up words. I'm getting old. Uh, envelope unboxing video for you here. So this is something I got for the truck, actually for us for the truck. And um, where's the oh here. This is something I kind of been thinking about for a while, wanted to get for the truck, and I thought, you know what, I gotta go to the license place office anyways. Let's have a look and see if we can get something interesting for the truck here. So here we go, we got a new set of, oh sweet, plates for the truck. I couldn't get the whole word or the whole name in there because we're only allowed eight in Ontario here, so there you go. B I L S T M A X. Nice. One for the front, one for the back. Unfortunately, here in Ontario, our plates, um, they released a whole bunch of them that the uh, stuff peeled off. Looks like they're back to kind of original plates, so that's good. Um, they were like a um, printed, they, they kind of looked like this, but they were like a printed plastic thing that went on it, and they ended up all distorting and peeling off. I'll show you my old ones there whenever we uh, <clears throat> get these ones on here. I gotta take these to the uh, license office again now and then they have to re-register. It's such a nuisance. I absolutely dread going to this place um, <clears throat> to get them done. But anyways, they have to re-register these into my name here. So, and uh, to register to the truck too. So. Uh, that kind of sucks. I might be able to do these online too, maybe, but probably not because they'll have to probably change the uh, ownership for the truck to reflect the new license plates here. So that's pretty cool. I got some reading material it looks like here. Um, personalized plates in Ontario are very expensive. You probably don't want to know what these cost. Absolutely ridiculous, but anyways. That's pretty cool. I just kind of want to almost hang these on the wall. Builds T-Max. But anyways, uh, I got to go and get these registered and then uh, probably have to change it right in the parking lot there, I would think. Uh, but anyways, there we go. So let's go down to the license office. I'm not going to take you in there because it's all government stuff, right? So, But uh, I dread going there because... There's a lot of people in this town. We have one office for this entire area, basically for this entire county, if not even a little bit more, for registering and you know doing your driver's license. And then in Ontario, Canada, we have like the health healthcare system where you have the health card and stuff. I can't show you that because that's uh, personal confidential stuff. But uh, basically, health card. So when you need to go to the hospital, you show your card and you wait in the waiting room for about 14 hours, and then they finally look at you. But anyways great health care isn't it anyways uh i hate going here because there's so many people and usually when you get there you're at like we'll say we'll say okay we're just going to use number 29 so we're they're at number 29 they have like a, a number thing on the wall you know and it's like now serving 29 well when you pull your thing out you're like 78 so i mean you're there for like at least an hour and a half and it is freaking annoying they're so slow, so incredibly slow, you know. Anyways, I'll have to go in and do that, but uh, these look like they're pretty cool and reflective too. You can't really see the reflectiveness of them until you get like a light shining on them, but pretty sweet. I like that. So well, let's head her down to the officer anyways. Oh man, I've already had to do this once because I had to, uh, um, what did I have to do? Oh, I had to pay... In Ontario now, they have stopped charging for the license plate renewal sticker that, you know, you usually put on the top here or whatever. They've stopped uh, charging for cars and uh, small pickup trucks, but my truck, unfortunately, still comes under the class of a commercial vehicle, so it still has to pay. And uh, it's expensive for that now, too. They've, <laughs> they've kind of pawned the... Uh, not charging for cars onto the truck owners and uh, the commercial stuff now it's terrible so but anyways that's pretty sweet we will uh oh i see an interesting thing there it looks like they the little stamper thing there's a 
don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. See it in the... Looks like they... Whoop, no, don't stamp it there. Too late. Get a little impression, but that's pretty cool. Anyways, we'll either have to head her down there and get those, uh, get those changed over, get the ownership changed over. And uh, we should be good to go. Frickin' sweet. Anyways, let's head her down. And that's the other problem with these plates here, too. The old ones, the... Uh, this was what I was talking I think, about earlier. The, they used to actually paint these. Now they put this plastic crap on them and they all fall off. And Apparently these are under warranty, so... So, but I got new plates anyways, but they would have gave me new plates with the new stuff on it for free, but anyways, I got my own new plates. Sweet. Let's go change them. All right, so we're all legal now. Sweet. Wish we could get a few more letters on our plates though, but that's the way she is. So we'll install this, I guess, and I don't have a... These had a, the dealership license plate covers on it. I might, uh, maybe if I'll find something on uh, Amazon or whatever, I'll throw it on. But uh, for now, we'll go, go with this. <laughs> I could center that a little more, but I kind of want to be away from, you know, the trailer lights and stuff. Awesome. All right. Got to go to the front now. We got to put uh, a renewal sticker <clears throat> in, in Canada here, Ontario. Anyways, they've done away with cars now for having to put the sticker on every year or every two years. You could do one or two. Uh, of course, for this truck classification, the weight of this truck, you have to do it every year. Still have to pay for it. Anyway, not uh, okay. Uh oh. Wow. Ah. All right, there she is. That looks darn near official now, doesn't it? Oh, I like that. So, if you notice that license plate sticker is on the front of my truck and originally on the back of her car, it's because I was told that um, it has to be on the front too for the MTO, Ministry of Transportation Ontario, if they, uh, that they need to see that, that's on the front versus if you've got a trailer on. Trucks always usually pull some kind of trailer, usually. Cars kind of usually don't. So it's on the front for that uh, purpose. So there we go. Well, someone asked the other day for a cold start on the truck. It's not super cold today, but we'll do one. And away we go. Just like pizza. Nice. Just like pizza. Well, that definitely makes the truck look good with personalized plates on it. <laughs> kind of like that. It's pretty awesome. Just need to give it a good wash. But anyways, yeah, I wish we could get a couple more letters. I need, what, two more letters on it? 
Oh, there's the turbos kicking in. Need a couple more letters on it. And it would be official, but close enough. That's, that's pretty good. Eventually, they'll have to probably change plates because, you know, I, I would imagine by now they're probably getting to the end of, you know, I think it was six at one time we could have max. And it went to seven. Now it's eight. So I don't know if they'll go nine and ten, but if they do, hey, that'd be all right. But I probably won't change them. So anyways, there we go. Looks good. Just a short video today of that. Uh, just the license office is terrible, but oh, man, you sure wait in line a long time there. Even if you got a... Well, they were actually pretty good today taking... Uh, Appointments, you can make an appointment too. I just went in and grabbed a number and sat down. I started at, uh, I think they started at 9 and I had number 22, so uh, pretty close to 29. <laughs> but anyways, there we go. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. You guys have a good day.